Robert, great to catch up with you. I know you've done two Q&As, uh, uh, both lunchtime and tea today. What sort of questions are the England fans asking you this afternoon? Well, basically, who's going to win? <laughs> How are we going to get 20 wickets? Were we happy with the total that we had? That was the, the major questions that came through to me. I think England had done very well to get to 4.30 because they did have a tricky start to their innings, 43 for three, uh, but the recovery was superb. I love the way that the middle order batted as well as, obviously, Joe Root. Uh, with the ball, it's been a bit more of a struggle. They were a little bit unlucky with the new ball, I thought. They bowled well enough, beat the bat a lot, had a couple of uh, decisions turned down which could have gone either way. Uh, but they've had, they're now going to have to re find a plan B, which is when the sun is out, the, f the flat pitch, they've got to bowl really straight and hold a good length. Bobby, well, you've been running around the ground probably more than anyone this week. I know you've had a few media commitments. You've been in the hospitality boxes. You've obviously been down here in the fan zone as well. Uh, Glamorgan man through and through. How, how do you think the test is going up? Apart from the obvious, but it's a beautiful sunny day today. Uh, do you know what I've what I've felt is is the is the the genuine happiness and relaxed atmosphere. That's when I'm walking around and just chatting to people and looking at people's faces uh, when they. All they talk about is how friendly an environment it is, walking up from the, the station or through the park into the SSE Swaylek. You know, that's something I've picked up on. There's a lot of knowledge here where people that come here. It's not a case of just coming to, to the cricket. People you see here tend to really be able to study the game. And, and the other thing I'm seeing is a lot of children. You know, I'm seeing a, a whole lot of children that are being brought here by parents, grandparents, aunties, uncles. And from a, a coach's point of view, looking forward, you often need something to ignite that interest in playing the game. And I think this is something that we've got to build off and use this as a legacy for Glamorgan. Yeah, it's certainly nice to see, and hopefully four days of sunny cricket and a, yeah. and a tight finish will do that. Just lastly, I know you faced a lot of uh, cricket questions today, yeah. but um, obviously just one spinner per side. Yeah. I know Lyon took out, took out um, Alistair Cook and then obviously Moen Ali's just taken the prize wicket of Steve Smith. Uh, how much do you think spin will feature on the, on the last couple of days of this test? Well, I think spin will feature, but I think if Seam is bowled very well and, and, and is, is captained well with, with good fields, then that will equally be a problem to face. What you'll see on this cricket, it's actually a little bit different to the modern game now. The modern test game is played at a bit of a pace and with balls zinging around left, right and centre. This is more traditional, which will be a little bit different to the mentality that the cricketer has brought up in right now. So you might see a period of really dull inactivity, shall we say, on the field, but all of a sudden the game itself could gather pace. So it's the side that is able to stay the full 15 sessions of the match that will have the best chance of winning. Well, we're just into this afternoon session now. I'm conscious we've yet to hear a roar, well, maybe uh, just yeah. around the corner. So I'll let you get back to the action and enjoy the rest of the game. Thanks for your time. Thanks, mate.